y'all, we filmed this video a long time ago. We back in the summer. And then we realized our audio was crap, so we're filming it again. I think this is episode one of Thrift versus Pawn. Now we went into this because Wow. <laughs> I wanted to prove that thrifting is dead for gaming game collectors. That's that was the whole purpose. Yes. I was like Thrifting is a waste of time around here, and you get you save up way more time. You still get really good deals, and it, the games are there at the pawn shop. Yeah. Well, we started this off by going, okay, we'll go to the thrift store, we'll see what they have, we'll go, haha, look at these overpriced games, loser, and we were gonna roll away and then go and find the exact same games at the pawn shops and go yeah. see they're cheaper. I This might have just been us putting our foot in our mouth going, the thrift stores here suck. And then we got this, so I don't know. Take a generic Super Mario on a, on a DS or whatever game yeah. and they're overpriced at Value Village. Oh yeah. Always. They I, might even be $10 overpriced price charting. And then you'll take that same game and you can go to any of the pawn shops here. In town, in our area, and They're it's cheaper. going to be price charting or cheaper. Or cheaper. So, I mean, you know, that's what we want. So, we, we go to Valley Village, we get in there, we look around, we're like, losers, like, you too much. We're driving away. Well, here's the thing. We, we've seen one thing. Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. We seen it the first lap that we took. Thinking they had it marked for what, 25? I don't remember. I can't remember. It's on the video. So anyway, it was that. like, yeah, this is that's right about where it's worth. Because yeah. we thought it was loose. So we, we make a lap, we go check everything else, look for consoles, look for strategy guys, look for anything. And then we're like, oh let's go one more time back to the case and just to take some video to make sure we have the games and the prices so that we have something to compare to. And in the second lap, we looked at that Super Mario World and then I noticed that Who's underneath that? the cartridge was the box. It, it was, was flat. collapsed, flattened down, and a rubber band over it. You know, even still with the box, I'm like, hey, it's probably not worth that much. Yeah. So we take off. I just went to not our car. I tried to get in, <laughs> but it wasn't our car. I actually found quite a few games here today. Yeah. Um, Kind of shocked. The only uh, one that dry, okay. might be even a little bit uh, good might be the Super Mario World, was it? With the collapsed box behind it? Yeah. We kind of glazed over that at first. You could probably... If the box didn't look that bad. Yeah, well, we don't know We don't know what the back side of the box looks like. idiotic there. Wrap a rubber band, <laughs> rubber band around the whole thing. And yeah. Made shit out of it. But check it on price journey. And yeah, see what you got. and we're driving towards one of our local pawn shops, and I was like, Sky, is this wrong? Is this artificially inflated? Is like, something this can't going be real. on? I don't know if this is an overinflated price. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but twenty-one dollars loose. Okay, yes, that's exactly what it goes for. Nine hundred dollars complete. I was like, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't fucking make sense. What is going on? Maybe What's happening? What's happening? The table. So I, yeah, next well, time. I looked at the sold listings, and there was a bunch of sold listings, CIB, for like $1,000, $900 on eBay. Is this somebody overinflating prices? Potentially. What the F do we do? Do we go back and get it? Do we check to see if we do have the manual at home? I don't know what to do. I I mean, we're gonna do something. I guess we're going back. I Stay tuned. Now, I can't tell you the price today, but I will show you on the screen yeah. because it has fluctuated. Has it fluctuated drastically within a couple hundred dollars? Has it gone up or down? It's gone up and down. That's the thing, since we filmed this video, but it hasn't gone drastically down. So it's okay. still staying anywhere between six and nine hundred dollars Canadian. I will do the translation for you in the video. Yeah. But I was flabbergasted. So like, I'm like, we gotta turn around and see if we can if it's still there. And it was still there. Yeah. So we picked it up. Yeah. Take it out. Now, as we're driving back, 
she's telling me complete it's worth at the time i think top prices were around the 800 mark yeah it might have been around there we don't need the game card because we i already had it but i said i do believe I might have the uh, the manual for it. Yeah, and we picked that up in a weird pickup yeah. years, years ago. ago. You know what? It's not in bad shape. The box it itself. Not bad at all. Yeah, there's a little bit of you know. Yeah. But once you put that in a in a box. So let's see if my memory is correct. It's code. I th well, you were just looking at yeah, stuff no. not all that long ago. So this is our little secret storage area. It's not little by any stretch of the imagination. It's all the way. Is it back there? I know I have a uh, Mario Kart and we had this one. I wasn't 100% sure, but I knew I had stuff. And yeah, so I, we I think came, I still like, have a few more things. In a blaze into the basement yeah. after we picked it up, trying to put it together. Trying to find the stuff. And we found it. Well, okay. we found the bag. It was under a box. So, let's go through my bag of goodies. Bag of goodies. That one? Yeah. That one. Super Mario Kart. Super Mario All Stars. And we do have Super Mario World. I, I still like, my brain's not processing this information. No. That we potentially picked up something that's worth, like, I'm looking at the comps for the box, and it says the box worth is about $250, $300 Canadian. So I'm just like, did we score big? Kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like it. I had a hard time taking my foot out of my mouth. I know. So yeah. essentially, it's complete. And the reason why it's so expensive because this was a packing game. A few people, like at work and stuff, they're like, they'll ask me what was your best pickup lately, and I'll say, oh, Super Mario World, and they're like, oh, yeah. really? I'm like, cool, dude. Yeah, it was. I we got a complete box. And then they give me a funny look. Oh, in a complete. box? Yeah. You have a box for it? I didn't think it came in a box. I'm like, I know. It was supposed to, it always comes packed in with the system, except for they were, there were some. Yeah. were sold like this. Yeah. I really didn't know because like, I, I, growing up, I was a Genesis guy. Yeah. I had a Sega Genesis. Yeah. I've only got into uh, Super Nintendo in my 40s. We're still shocked. I don't think we've gotten that like, oh my God moment because two uh, reasons. It's still weird. We're not selling it. So it doesn't no. mean any value to us. No, no. The price. Monetary you know, value is nothing. It, it doesn't matter. I like the fact that it's super rare. And. And it's also. Our son's favorite our game. Our son's favorite Mario game. Yes. Ma favorite Mario game for yes. sure. I think right now what we've decided we're going to do. We're going to try to continue the series. We're uh, hopefully I, get to film another one sometime yes. soon. But right now, we're going into Christmas season, and it's going to be busy. So it might be a little bit before we get another one out to you guys. But on the back, be, on behind our door, we have a whiteboard. And we have thrift. And we have pawn. And we'll put it in right now. Keeping a tally. Keeping a tally. Who wins? Yes. So, I mean, unanimously, this has to go All right. to thrift. Because we're Canadians, I think this series should be a best of seven. A best of seven? Like a playoff series. Like a playoff series? I think we should get the best of seven. Is it because of hockey season right now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> best of seven. Who's going to win? Thrift kick the holy bejesus out upon this time. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky. This is a like a no. once in a lifetime kind of find. And let's just be clear, guys, for anybody that's like thrift is better. This for the in our area and for the average person, yep. most people aren't going into a thrift store every day. Yep. I think if you're an everyday person, then you're gonna obviously I, have more luck. If you're somebody that doesn't mind buying for two dollars and yep. trading for five dollars. I think either you a you have to spend a lot of time going in, you gotta go in daily mm -hmm. at the perfect time, which we don't know. We're night shift workers. Yeah. I'm probably in bed when they roll out new. Product. Yeah. Or you have a connection with somebody that works at the thrift store that mm -hmm. knows what you're looking for. That can send you a quick text. You looking for that? Yeah. I'll be right there. Maybe exactly. that would be another thing that would be something you need. We don't have either one of those abilities right Yeah, now. see, we have a greater connection with our pawn shop. Uh, we have, yeah, we, we've, we've spent a lot of money building yeah. our collection mostly with the pawn shops. And, we, and not just that, it's not 
just that we've spent a lot of money there, which we have. <laughs> We're friendly. You you friendly, talk. but we you, always talk to everybody. Yeah. Like we know the Jen people. Jen talks to everybody. Oh. I was hunting for games by myself for probably a couple of years, and nobody even knew my name. <laughs> <laughs> and now they know our names, and we go in there, yeah. and it's like it feels like home. Like you know what I mean? It's like yeah, you're going in. You're not talking to like staff. You're talking to friends. Yeah, exactly. So. Anyways, I'm sorry, Pawn Shop. Pawn, we're rooting for you. We're rooting for you. Best of seven. You still have six games left <laughs> to come back and take it. Hopefully six to one. No, it's the best of seven, Blondie. Oh, sorry. You did four to three. I'm sorry. You could, you could do this in five. Still able to you do, could do it in five. five. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. That's um that's the first one in and uh we'll see where it goes from there. I'm a sleeping dog on my lap so I lift her now. Want me to hit a record thing? Yeah, press record. Let's see if this works. Press record? <laughs>